What's going on Pixel Hackers? Christian Lovrisic from Pixel Feet here. And in this video, we're going to talk about interest targeting and strategy for Facebook ads using Connectio. But before we get started, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's dive right in. So ever since Facebook uh, shut down Audience Insights, uh, and for those of you that don't know what Audience Insights is, uh, Audience Insights used to be the place where you would go on the back end of Facebook to look at data and do audience research on what pages uh, people liked on the platform, how high of an affinity uh, people had to those pages. And that's how we would do uh, our audience research before launching a campaign. I will actually go in there and take my time and putting together what we call a customer avatar, a dream customer avatar, uh, and pick out the interests that I wanted to use for all of my campaigns. And the way that I always did it was I will go in there and divide all of my campaigns depending on the type of interest that I would find under Audience Insights. Uh, if you still wanna see what Audience Insights is, you can search the video on my channel, it's still there, but as of now, it doesn't exist anymore. Now, Facebook has said they're gonna deploy some kind of tool to replace it, but they haven't done so yet. So the way that I've been doing it is I, I, I have a tool that I've been using for years and years and years, and I'm going to walk you guys through it. It's called Connectio. Link will be down in the description uh, where you can get a good deal with it. Uh, and it's saved my life. I mean, I've been using it for so many years now. It makes my life easier. It makes it so much quicker to build out your campaigns. And, you know, once you have more experience with media buying and Facebook ads, uh, you know, it, it, the, the research that you have to do up front, uh, it's not quite as complicated because you have the experience to go with it. But when you're starting out, it's good to do that research. But once you know your niche or you have an idea of what works for your niche, you can use this tool to build out your campaigns so much quicker and get it done over with. So I'm going to give you guys a walkthrough of how I do it. And hopefully this will help you guys. So let's say this was a brand new account and I was going in here to get started, or I just simply wanted to expand my audiences because you should always be running uh, interest related, uh, you know, campaigns. You should never stop uh, testing interest as you go. Uh, one of the biggest mistakes that you guys tend to do is you get comfortable with your lookalike audiences and then you keep feeding Facebook lookalike audiences over and over and over again, and you don't bring that fresh, fresh data from interest and i like to do that even with well-established accounts it's, it's good for the account because you know people interest change over time and this is how you keep it fresh so let's say i'm building my campaign right here i go under ad set and then what i will do here is once it pulls up is i'm going to go in here and i'm going to do a few different ad sets so the first one's going to be informational websites or magazines right and the reason why I'm grouping this together is because everything needs to be brought now. And then I will duplicate this into two more ad sets, right? And then I'm gonna create uh, two separate types of audiences here. So for example, here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do influencers, right? You know, so those are your celebrities, people that, that know these people and all that good stuff. And then another grouping that I like to do, that's one of my favorite ones, is, you know, competition. Because if you add your competition, that's people who are spending money, people who are buying products. So you want to, you know, keep it, uh, you want to target those people, right, that have similar products like yours. So what most people do is they're going to click here, edit, and they're going to scroll down uh, to, you know, detail targeting right here, and they're going to play the guessing game. So this is a, 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 the weather niche. So this is a weather gadget. So it's a weather related audience. So I would just type in weather because that's going to be your first idea. And then you're going to play the guessing game. So I got to go in here and I'm going to try to see, like, see, okay, this audience is 4,000 people. I just thought, yeah, 4,000 people or this this one's 13,000, this one's 3 million or 30. And we we all know right now, since the AI is getting smarter, we wanna go with super, super broad audiences. And then if you wanna narrow down your audiences, it's gonna make it very time consuming for you to find out you know, how big you can make this audience. And then you gotta type in again, weather, and see what comes up. And then you gotta play the guessing game because if you know anything about narrowing audiences to target people, to do better targeting and more niche down targeting, you, you, you always have to put the biggest audience at the top. And then as you narrow it down, 
you, you group your audiences so that ones in the millions on top of millions are up here and then the ones that are a little bit smaller right here and then if you narrow again then you bring the ones that are in the thousands however right now as of right now uh you know i'm not doing much of narrowing down because i want to keep my my audiences in the million on like over 10 million over 20 million because it's just working better as you narrow down further as you can see here you know it's going to get smaller and smaller and smaller so let's say city news is going to bring it down to like you know fifteen thousand people that's not going to work with facebook right now so if you were to do this the correct way it's going to take you a long long time to figure out so my trusty tool that i've been using for years and years and years it's called connectio and when you log in this is what it looks like so basically you go in here you pick out your ad account your language and then you do a search for what you're looking for so in this case it's weather right weather niche so i will type in weather hit enter and then what connect is going to do is it's actually what it does it connects to facebook's api and this is how software software developers can connect to facebook itself and pull their data okay so when you when you type in weather it's going to bring all the weather related interest that uh, match that word uh the closest and then if you look in here we have a menu where it shows you the extensions where you can you know uh filter everything out by the association foundation federation university website blog forum club community you can do it by size so let's say i just want 100 or 200k boom it's going to bring me it's going to set it right there or you can do it manually right here right that's one way of doing it uh you can bring it you can filter it down by interest or you know demographics for like employers you know anything like that and then you just hit apply filter and it's going to do that for you and you can see you know employers for work right and this works really well you know when it comes to uh you know targeting people who work for those type of companies right so let's say i want to get rid of that you know uh apply filter to get rid of it and then if i want to get a little bit more niche down or targeted i can you know filter by words so if i want certain interest uh, i don't want certain interest to appear uh on my search you know you can get rid of words by clicking in here do nothing include exclude and you can get really really targeted right here right what makes this so much easier is that i can click right here and it's going to set everything by size so right at the top it's going to be your biggest audiences right off the bat right but the cool thing is that you're looking in here and you're like only 28 results there's no way you're right there's no way because what you're doing here is this is the the most broad to start with so let's say i wanted to start with a few at the top uh you know so let's do uh what do you call it uh blah, blah, blah. let's do like magazines website information which, which would be like the weather channel or the, the websites and stuff like that so i will do with a channel with a radar that will be under you know um you know informational websites so let's say those are the five uh that i want to start with and i want to see more interest related to it so i can stack them together and create a huge audience so i will go in here and click show selected and then i'm going to select all and then it's going to show me suggestions that are related to that so i'm going to keep going in here and let's see if there's anything else that catches my eye related to it so accuweather that could be one climate no none of this do, 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 no weather bug that could be one okay that's an app so i will go again to show selected and then i will make sure i have all of them selected right i can keep going in here and ask for more suggestions or i can just apply selected to the ad set which is going to make this is what i'm telling you guys that makes your life so easier so for this example i'm just going to go to the next step so i will click apply selected to ad set and it's going to bring us to the next screen so here's where you can see all the interests that you already selected and this is where the software tries to get fancy and to be honest with you it's more steps than necessary just to i don't know justify it i guess so from here you can you know add layers and you can just bring your layers so you leave you leave your bigger audiences right here and then i can bring the smaller ones right here and then it will create the layers and then you can apply them all to a single ad set or you can test the interest beta by you know it will create uh campaigns and ad sets inside your business manager but we already did that i like to do that ahead of time because i like to know my structure ahead of time I'm, you know it, will it takes forever to do it with the software so what i like to do here is to keep things simple and easy and quick so once i have my interests ready to go i just click this button right here copy to clip, uh, clipboard i come here 
detailed targeting, control V, paste, enter, and boom. There's all, uh, there's all of our interest options right there. Load it onto the ad set, and then you move on to the next one. It's that easy. Now, if you want to do the whole you know, layers and putting everything together, you can certainly do that at a third layer, move stuff around, and then you will have to, you know, uh, hit either apply, uh, apply all to single ad set and it will do it for you. And then it's going to pull up the account right here. And then you select your campaign, your ad account, your ad set and all that. And it does it for you. Or you can just do, uh, you know, test the interest separately. Again, I like to just grab them all, copy, paste, ready to go, move on to the next. Because when you're handling multiple accounts and, and you're creating, let's say, 10 to 20 ad sets, this can get very, very time consuming. And it, it, since the API is not fast enough, it takes forever to load everything for you inside Facebook. So I suggest that you do it manually like I do, because that's how I move fast in between accounts and ad sets. Now, overall, I love the tool. Uh, you don't need to use all the fancy stuff that comes along with it. I know they'll keep adding to it. So if you want to try it out, if you want to use it, I highly suggest you do so. The link's in the description below. Guys, if you like that video, make sure to check out the links in the description below. Help support the channel. And if you want to keep learning about Facebook ads and digital marketing in general, make sure to check out one of the videos right above me. And I will see you guys in the next video.